Hi, this is Brittany from the Goddess Complex LLC here. Welcome to today's Kitchen Magic reading for the week of uh, May 17th. Happy Taurus season. Uh, tamarind, I love these. I can't stand the seedling in it, but you can actually take the seedling and uh, soak them. And you can actually grind them and make them into a paste. So they're so good for you, especially during the summertime. I like these with the uh, candied mango and other different things as well, or spiced candy mango. Um, this one is a native of the uh, of the tropics of Africa, but this comes from it's derived from Africa. But you can see these all over the all over the world. Um, very big in the Latin community, African community, and also Indonesian and native community. Um, good, you normally see them in the uh, uh, the international aisle, which is where you can find them. Um, these particular things are used to um, more so for a leisure plant for a snack. It supports calcium in the body and dental. Dental. So a lot of this is uh, more so to re-strengthen re-strength, in the body. Great for your immune system and different things of that nature. You'll see these in a lot of Hispanic uh, uh, Mexican candies. Also vanilla here, vanilla bean, which is my favorite, one of my favorite fragrances and scents and essences as well. Used dominantly by the Aztecs, which is one of our bloodlines, especially tied to the African bloodline. This right here is more so an attractor, but also a sweetener, especially used in a lot of sweetening spells, but also a lot of dishes and things of that nature. Also attracts very positive energy. Uh, the smell of vanilla bean. Now, vanilla and vanilla bean are two different things, especially vanilla bean in uh, coffee or uh, desserts and things of that nature. as richness and wealth to your life and also your senses. Basil, great for love and money magic. Um, this particular... Uh, basil in which it's just a general basil uh, is used to treat headaches flu symptoms and insomnia also used in the production of soap and body creams all overseas so you can use this in several different ways to make a wash for prosperity and money for your body also for um to make essential oils put it in your tincture especially your money tincture Let's see what else we got here. So welcome to today's video. Make sure you're following me on all social medias. Bitters, I love bitters. I, just, I just made some uh, 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 quick bitters uh, last week just to treat, um, to boost my immune system as we're getting ready to go into the fall season. Um, the bitters, of course, different concoctions of bitters. Oh, thank you. Different concoctions of bitters. Different concoction of bitters uh, can be used to treat different health ailments, uh, especially those with diabetes, cancer, lupus, uh, which forms uh, different forms of immune uh, deficiency. Uh, um, immune, uh, what's that? Immune uh, issues, immune health uh, issues, and stuff. Uh, and conditions, and conditions. I can't speak today. What's going on? <laughs> Say just one of the next ones, but I'm gonna put it back in the deck. Garlic was also sticking out to me as well. Saffron, I just seen a book. If you're gonna catch today's uh video this weekend, uh, the Sage Session podcast over on anchor.fm, well as over here on YouTube as well. Uh, you have here saffron, saffron using saffron, and um, there's several other different things, great in broth. Especially in the fall and winter, maybe early spring. Man, this is used to treat anxiety, fever, organ trouble, arthritis, bru uh, bruises, and abrasions. So this is a healing agent. So saffron will put in a lot of different bitters and things of that nature. Especially a broth. A broth is considered a form of a bitter, depending on what you're putting in it. But saffron ignites wealth in the body when it comes to health. So great health means great wealth. Let's see here as well. We also have mint and fennel, one of my other favorites. Mint, this is like the mecca. This is what I put in my coffee. Um, this is what I put in my, uh, this is what I put in uh, pretty much everything, especially if I'm gonna do any type of salt bath. I wanna make sure there's mint in certain uh, forms of lavender or something in it. 
or if I'm going to do uh, any type of uh, any type of uh, recipe, mint is only going to be in it most of the year, except for certain parts of the summer. Now, fennel, great for health, uh, great for healing as well, healing agent. I use fennel in my teas and things of that nature just to heal, especially if I know I'm about to uh, have some type of issue with allergens or anything of that nature. I'm gonna have that pro uh, that uh that in my teas. Also, you can grind fennel up, put it into some of your powders as well, especially health powders, but also candle workings. You can grind fennel up or put fennel seeds in your candle workings for uh, prosperity and wealth and also healing, uh, killing count, especially if you know you have a death in the family or someone who may have fallen ill to an illness, that'll be great. Sesame seeds, great for prosperity and manifesting. Uh, you have sesame seeds here. Uh, according to this particular, uh, this is known even from uh, from Africa all the way to the Aztecs uh, as far as sesame seeds, dominant in, of course, African and also Asian cooking and also uh, Indonesian cooking as well. Ah, in the 1600s with uh, West African slaves whose uh, Bantu name for the seed was Benny, B-E-N-N-E, -N -N -E, or Benny seed. So some of this is dominant in South, uh, West Africa, South Africa, but also dominantly um, is used to span the culinary world as it is likely to be found in a Tokyo hamburger joint as an American sushi bar. Everything from the Middle East, all over the African dishes. This particular, uh, this particular seedling actually is very dominant here in America uh, for health issues and also for uh, aiding in manifestation, money and things of that nature. As far as when it comes to magic, Sass sassafras. That's the one I couldn't call. So sassafras, great to use in bitters and stuff of that nature. Great to use in a lot of uh, smoke cooking. Great to the uh, form of, of the natives and things of that nature. Um, this was a cure all. This is what you call a universal cure all. Sassafras was grown in the U.S. prize of the bark of its roots. This member of the local family produces a small blueberry and can uh, grow to 50 feet or more. Native Americans were the first to use the bark of the tree medically. Um, this was noted by European settlers who initially mistook the tree for cinnamon. They made sassafras the number two export and led the establishment of sassafras trees in England by the 1600s. It was erroneously believed that the root bark was a cure-all, able to treat hundreds of melodicities, including syphilis. So this right here, um, Choctaw Indians in Louisiana ground the leaves into the first pile, which they sold in the markets of the uh, virgin uh, French port of New Orleans. Creoles used it in gumbo as a thickener and uh, fowl remains a uh, signature element in New Orleans cuisine until today. So a lot of French cooking. So a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, French cooking. Some chili peppers, which I need to get some. Um, we're gonna do another uh, another video later on today <laughs> about probably chili peppers. I'm thinking, or I'm trying not to make too much content, but not uh, enough content to kind of spread out throughout the whole month. You have chili pepper, fidelity, love hex, breaking, uh, ignites passion, spice. If you feel like you have a lot of like boring, blah energy around you, or maybe you had a weird work day, put some chili pepper or chili chili pepper based sauce. Normally, send a lot of the international owls, especially the ones that come from Jamaica, uh, a uh, Asia, and uh, Indonesian uh, Hispanic cooking as well. Try to put a little bit of that sauce and make some yourself. It's actually very easy. Uh, this also attracts prosperity and strength. It breaks a lot of curses and spells. And, and especially when people speak, speak ill, if you had a person that doesn't like you and speaks ill will over you, that'll work as well to uh, break a lot of curses. Also, you have your clove. You have your clove. Uh, clove is great for protection. It's great for healing. It's great for money. It's great for a lot of different things. It stops a lot of people from uh, causing harm and sending harm to you. Um, 
I love it far as it for, for protection, but also healing agents. I put that in my tea as well, but not all year long. Only when I know for a fact I am like sick or I have like a congestion, but I have to make sure I pair it with the right teas because some of it is not great equal, but great for the clove is also great for your mind and things of that nature as well. Of course, we have here salt, salt, the uh, universal cure all, heal, heal all when it comes to certain ailments. Uh, especially to reheal and reignite a lot of things, especially if you need saline in the body. Saline, you, uh, you're uh, not dehydrated, but you have too much, um, if you have too much allergens and congestion in the body, gargling this also helps to aid in aches and pains and, and uh, the other different things as well. Great for spiritual healing and things of that nature. Uh, hugely dominant in uh, Egypt and Greece. Egypt and Greece and, and different parts, of course, the German Roman Empire. West Africa and, and several different places of Latin Latin uh, existence. Salt is used for different things all over the world. Great for spiritual bath, but real quick, like especially pick me up, cleanse me off. Especially if you know you've been around somebody that's been in your car or in your space or work area, and they have a cold or something. Take that bath, the salt, nice salt bath, very healing on the skin, also very detoxing off the skin. Especially if you make a body scrub or a paste out of it. Now, I saw the word garlic, but two words at the top. I saw garlic. So garlic may be in need at this time. We have lavender, one of my favorites. Lavender, great for healing and expulsion of bad energies and, and juju. Greatly used by Cleopatra and Queen Sheba. Also dominant in the uh, Christian Legion Association, this member of the Mint family with protection from evil. This protects you a whole lot. If you're going to be traveling, this is one that you need to keep. Um, there's a great place in Texas that we went. Um, we went on a walk, a uh, walk, a walking trail. Beautiful lavender, very like beautiful lavender. If you can prone, prone some and put put them in a in, in your little in your little something of that nature, or pack it with you. You can put it in a satchel and hang it up in your room. You're, especially if you're going to be visiting someone or a hotel room. Uh, this is great for healing. Smells very feminine, uh, great to uh, combat a lot of evil and things of that nature. Great in milk baths. So this has been Brittany from the Goddess Complex LLC here. Uh, thank you for watching today's kitchen magic video. Hopefully you have learned a little bit more, something a little different. I'm thinking about updating the uh, cards. These cards I got back in 2021, or was it 2020? I think 2021, I saw these at Dollar Tree. And I don't give out recipes and things of that nature since, since, since I do have a business. That's one reason why I started Kitchen Magic. That way you guys can learn as I'm learning. And it's a lot of different things like Cameradon caram and Oregano, great in cooking, great in sauces, great in broths, great in soups. Uh, oregano can be used in a tea, but only if you have certain illnesses. It cannot come back uh, your uh, pharmaceutical uh, pills and things of that nature. So thank you guys for watching today's video. Make sure you follow me on Buy Me A Coffee. But make sure you're checking me out over on Linktree. That way you can stay plugged in and tied in to all my social media links. Follow me on TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, and several other different outlets as well. And um, I love you very much so. And I'll see you guys in the next Kitchen Magic video. Uh, video. Uh, enjoy the rest of your tourist season. Let's get ready for Gemini season. So I'll see you guys next week.